all right guys welcome to the channel all right so basically in this video what we're going to be looking at is how to create relationships in mysql workbench so first what we're going to be looking at is a one-to-one -one relationship this same relationship i'm going to show you how to create this relationship and we're going to be looking at this one to many relationship I can accidentally created this um, incorrectly this should have the crow foot because it's a crow foot model we're using and we're going to look at the the many to many relationship here so that's what we're going to be looking at all right so let's go ahead and and get into my SQL workbench. So the first thing you want to do is go to file and new model. And here you'll get this schema like um, layout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click and change the name of this to relationships. And let's just get rid of that and I'm going to add all the tables that we need right now you do not have to add all these but at once but I think it will make it much um, simpler for us so let's go ahead and add those the first that we need is what was it again professor and I'm going to add a primary key for the ID as you can see the ID column pops up here with the primary key I'm going to auto increment this will uh, this will auto generate IDs without the user having to have to enter an ID all the time this is much better because what if you have like a lot of um, users in the database this actually auto saves as well so you basically all you have to do is just um, double click again and you can create a new table <coughs> so the next table is department and we're just going to do the same thing and we're just going to run through the rest of them so we should have classes uh, painting Painter actually, we're just going to do the same thing over and over. Okay, painter paintings, uh, and let's just add this thing to it. The next is the other one is classes, classes. The same thing I'm going to show you what will happen if you actually make a, a many to many relationship because we don't ever want to have a many to many relationship it's not something that we ever want in a database so let's go ahead and do our first relationship we have all our tables here well we need let's add one more just one more So what we need to do to create the relationship is just to add a diagram. Double click and we'll, this is our database schema here. And this is our tables. So the first one was department. So let's drag and drop that. And the other table was professor. So to create this in MySQL workbench is so simple. All you have to do is just look for the one-to-one -one relationship um, thing here, quickie or whatever, and just click on the table, on the other table, and it automatically just generates this relationship, as you can see here. So we can just clear this off, and we can right-click and rename this to 
prof to it. So this prof is a department, just to rename it. And we can right click again to add a new um a new relationship. So this relationship will be for the painter and the painting. The first relationship was a one-to-one -one relationship. Now this relationship will be a one-to-many because you have one painter but many paintings. So you just look for the one-to-many relationship. So this one will be your one-to-many relationship. So you just click that. But what you want to do is you want to click on the many side first because as you, you will see here that we have the the crow foot right here. So this is this is what is called the, the crow foot model or the crow foot notation. So this is what we want for for this one. So it's one here, one painter, but many paintings. So let's let's clear this off and rename. So we're going to call this painter. And we'll click OK. And now for our, our final one, just double click. And I'm going to show you. Alright, so what we need for this one is a enroll. I want the classes and we also want the students. Basically, why we need this enroll is because we don't ever want to have a a many to many relationship so you know you have many students and you have many classes but we don't ever want to have a relationship in a database that has a many to many so that's where that's where the the enroll comes in so basically what the enroll does is give the students and the enroll table a one to many relationship and also the enroll to the classes, a one-to-many -to relationship. So basically what you're saying is students may enroll in many classes and it's also, but only, only one enroll can go to a, a student. So basically, again, from the classes side, it's saying many classes may be enrolled by students. Let's go ahead and make the many to many. So we look for the the quick here, the notation here, identifier. And again, we want to click on what it I don't think it really well yes, it does. What we want to get is the one to many, not the many to many relation. Because as we say, we don't ever want to have a many to many relationship. And I'm going to show you what will happen if you try to make it in the MySQL but so we click on enroll and student and now we get this linkage right here for student so we get a new a new foreign key here i would say i think this is a foreign key which links to the id of the student i want to do the same for the classes and now we have our our relationship between students and classes <clears throat> all right so this is what you want to do we don't ever want to have a many to many relationship all right so this is let's say students to enroll to classes so let me show you what will happen if you actually try to to do a many to many relationship why did I create it? Try to create two. All right, let's just double click here in the diagram. And let's look for the classes. Drop that there. And let's get the students. And now we're going to look for our many to many relationship. I'm going to show you what happens. So we we'll click on this and click on the student and click on the classes. As you see, we have this table that pops up and we don't get that many to many relationship. We still get that one to many relationship. So you see, it says student has classes. 
and it's the same classes as students so basically it's just a a thing in the database thing it's a rule it's a rule that you don't want to break or you cannot break as you can see here you don't ever want to have a many to many relationship in in mysql or any any database whatsoever all right so i guess that's all for this video if you find this useful please leave a like share subscribe hit that notification bell to never miss a post and also if you have any questions or any comments just leave that in the comment area